yeah. like people knew who we who we were, who we are, and what we're doing. But it's like everyone doesn't yeah. know. So it's like at the end of the day, we're not there yet. So. We're literally like talking to each other because we had a call with the web designer within like 15 minutes. Yeah, and at and the we time didn't have a name. we had no name. So you know something sparked, and I was like, you know what, the no names. We didn't want to be that blog where you know, look what so and so is wearing, or look what so and so is eating it, because like it's been done so many times. They'll go and they'll post a video, but they're not really looking at the video and looking at the art in the video, or they're not looking at how the styling really brought this aspect of the video to life, or right. spoke to this type of culture. Hey, my name is Jovo Royston. And I'm Kenneth Carrell. And I'm we're the No Names. I'm Ron Cal. Seahawk Snipes. Pinned and Stitched. Dot com. <laughs> What's one thing people assume about you guys? Okay. Randomly, I don't know why, but sometimes people say that we can be intimidating. Well, they thought Very that we were so. intimidating, but I think we're like the goofiest people ever. And also just like when you see people doing things that the average person doesn't do, they're sort of yeah. like... Well, okay, they're, not, they're not regular, yeah, so yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> can I talk to them? Are they cool? Are they going to think I'm right. not cool because I don't do what they do or like what they're doing? You know, yeah. we're human. Yeah. We're regular. <laughs> we're regular people, guys. Like, if yeah. you ever see them, come up and say hi. Another thing, like, people don't be afraid to speak in public. Like, all this communication on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, it's like, you know, you can carry a conversation all day long around a computer, but then when you see Your the person face, face to face, it's like you have nothing to say. Like, and that's you know, what's wrong with I don't like that. Yeah. Right. yeah. Why would you guys say that fashion mill bloggers are so rare? A lot of bloggers, or you could even call them micro bloggers, that think that their tumblers are, oh, I'm a blogger, go to the yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, I mean, millions of other people have tumblers too. And like, as more of us just put out good stuff that other guys can be like, wow, that's cool, they'll do it too. And I think it's more so about, you know, having an opinion. Like Jovel said, there's so many micro bloggers, meaning, you know, people on Tumblr who are posting the pictures they, that they like, or just reblogging blogging it. Mm -hmm. And it's about, you know, not only posting pictures that you like, but, you know, talking about a collection and what it means to you and, you know, doing a little bit of trend forecasting. And I think with women bloggers, they've been doing it for a while. Yeah. And I think with guys, it's like, you know, it, it's kind of, I don't want to say taboo to have an opinion about fashion, but it's not necessarily the cool thing to do. Yeah. It's becoming more cool and it's becoming more accepted. But I think, you know, as times change, there will be more male bloggers. So I have another little funky question. Um, if you can get rid of one trend today, what would it be? The whole kaleidoscopic graphics and... It's everywhere? On yeah, every, yeah, yeah, if everything. it was just them that really... And I, mean, I guess you can't trademark the trend, but like if it was just them doing it, even still, they would like... Because when they started doing it like back in fall 11 or spring 11, it was like, wow, this is amazing. And yeah. I instantly fell in love. But then now it's just like, okay, now Zara's doing it. I actually wrote um, uh, okay. a blog post on Control about how it's sort of like, it's like, when does inspiration from another brand become plagiarism? Right. And it's like, everyone is doing it. It's just yeah. also penetrated in. I want to see something new. It's like, you know, the shirts that have like the Celine typography, but it says like, oh. Uh, Selfie or home is yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's like, it was cool when it first came out, but like now it's everywhere, and it's like everyone is designing a shirt that's saying the same thing. You know, you go to Tumblr, and it's like that's all you see, that's all you see. Yeah. You go out on the street, that's all you see. So it's like, you know, let's let that trend die. die. <laughs> I think you're gonna do a trend, make it your own, yeah. yeah that's the thing, copy and paste, just make it your own. If you're gonna right. do the whole calm day, fuck them, which is yeah. tired, which is so tired. No, that's totally right. played out. Please make it your own the best yeah. way you can. It's sort of like things that should allow you to be expressive aren't as expressive because it's so common. Yeah. You want to say who you are, not who everyone else is. You know? Yeah. Mrs. So. Case, Nike commercial that you guys had, not officially a Nike commercial, but <laughs> in, um, in your Nike Town video that you guys did, um, super, super amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Um, we appreciate that. That you guys did. Um, so, how was that experience? doing that uh it was awesome i mean so uh just to elaborate nike town is a project we one day we were just talking and we were talking about sneakers and we wanted these custom sneakers that no one had and 
we were like, oh, well, let's just throw on Nike ID and just like look at what styles yeah. they have. And yeah, Cairo wanted to make it something big. So we designed the shoes. Going back to, we both studied marketing, we decided to do a video, we decided to do a blog post and market to different people. And, yeah. and we, we got a lot of great feedback. Yeah, we got a lot it of It was really fun. Uh, we worked with Shaquille. Uh, Shaquille Cathy, and he's really so awesome talented. Mind. Um, he's an artist based out of Philly, mm -hmm. and he was our director for it. So he brought our idea to life, and yeah, you know, it was it was really great. He has a great perspective. Yeah. There was a lot of energy on the set. We were playing basketball. We were Fake riding boy, bikes man. on the Brooklyn Bridge. We color. were like, we were in shopping. A lot of color. Yeah. After watching the video, if I didn't know who you were and what I was watching, I would have thought it was something that someone pulled from like. A sh like a commercial off TV, like that's how good it was. Wow. It looks so Thank professional. You. Thank you great. so much. Um, but it made me wonder: was your intention to to get backing from like a major company like Nike, or like what was your intention behind the whole video? We would like to do more projects like that and get yeah. backing from major brands, and you know, give our input and our creativity to something that they have created or that has yet to be created. Yeah. Really, just to show our creative process, mm -hmm. show that how we think. Like we can take a product that no one's seen before and we can we can create a campaign for it. We can create a shoot, we can create a video and hopefully people will think it's as cool as we do, you know?